<laughs> okay. Good morning. You're you're live. I'm surprised I'm on. I'm sort of on time. Give me a minute. I, I left the house six minutes ago. Uh, <clears throat> do you know what the workout is? You did the eight. Mm hmm What is it? It is uh, some toast bars, some burpees, and some hand cleans. Nice. So this is gonna look even better after today. Let's get it then, Colts. We are building fours until we find an eight out of 10 effort difficulty. Then we're gonna stay there for three sets of the same weight. Last week, the week before that, the week before that, and the week before that, we've been doing five. We've got a base your jump to do it here. Use the six RP to give you the feedback to make the jump to the seven. Seven, you that feedback to jump to the eight. So now you have to add a load of the bar, start doing your fours immediately to start adding weight to the bar. Cool? We have the toes to bar, we have the hang dumbbell snatch, we have the beloved burpee, and then we have the curtsy lunge. V, I'm gonna have you demo some of the movements. For okay. the toes to bar. Do you need any water? No. Okay. So, what we're gonna do right now is this. Toes to bar, he's gonna hang the bar, you're gonna be kipping, hollow positions, go ahead. Touch it right between your hands, you gotta be like straight. If this is challenging, then you need to go knee raises. Just bring your knees to your chest. Good, just like that, and you're still maintaining that kick and relax. Give me one more breathing. And then if that is still challenging, you lay down the ground, we're gonna do the V-ups. Okay? Hollow position, stay very similar thing. Hands pinch, meet, go ahead. Good, just like that. Heels will hover off the ground and rest. Good. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, thank you. Thank you. For the hang snatch, it's gonna be very similar to a kettlebell swing. You're just gonna hit with the hips, pinky's gonna go into your hips, and you're gonna punch it straight up. Good. You want to make sure the wrist is over the elbow, over the shoulder, legs are fully extended, using your hips to thrust it, and then using your legs to kind of drive that kettle, put that dumbbell up, and rest. Good. And then we have the burpee. Gina's going to show us the burpee. <laughs> yeah! You're funny. Chest and thighs hit the ground. Just like that. And you're going to come up. Stand all the way up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we have me. I'm going to have to show this with the dumbbells. Two versions, three versions to do this. We have the dumbbells to our side, and then we go with the curtsy lunge. The back foot will go behind the heel and over, good hit, and the knee touches, just like that, alternating every repetition. If that is challenging for you, just grab one dumbbell and then hold in the goblet position, yeah, just like that, same thing. And then if that's still challenging for you, then just go unweighted, all right? And those are gonna be our movements today. Beautiful, clap, 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 in the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never never rehearse, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Take the berserk, don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real, that's real, that's too that's real. Too real. I've been Roosevelt, I need a new deal. Trying to figure out what I should do still. I'm still. really never waiting here too still. too still. I don't even know what I should say at all. Should I jump on in? Should I get involved? Get involved. God. God surround me, they love the talk. I take it all with a grain of salt This work that I'm doing, they never see through it And all of this rap that I see that they ruin I came in, they came in, I'm trying to undo it And still they all say they don't know if the shoe fit I gotta see through it, man, won't be deluded With all these illusions, I know it's disputed I gotta keep growing, they see what my root is I tell you I run this, I'm done with excuses Get me for a minute, trying to get what I've been giving I don't do it for the tickets, I don't listen to the critics I'ma push them to the limit, and these rappers getting timid I've been balling like a pivot, I don't step into the scrimmage I just play when I'm in it because hang snatches, not hang cleans, Colby. Oh, yeah. It was wrong. It was good. Um, sorry, catch my breath. Uh, 
I stayed a little lighter on the back squats today because it's just with the better thing to do, kind of getting back into higher volume back squatting, getting some weight back on my back. So I was moving, I think it was what I do, 195. I was moving it pretty easy. So wasn't a true RPE of eight, but it was good for me. Um, my knee's been bothering me, so I took it easy and nothing bothered me in the squat. So that's really good, especially after nothing was bothering me. Um, the workout was prescribed weight. Uh, and then obviously it's, it's whatever you need to do, but it's 50 for women, or sorry, 50 for men. Dumbbells, 35s for women. I used 35s, I tried to use 30s and we only had one. <laughs> So I'm happy I used the 35. Um, it was a steady pace for me the whole time. Uh, heart rate never really spiked. It kind of stayed consistent the whole time. And the curtsy lunges was definitely the part that, <clears throat> I guess you got to a point where like, it was a little bit tougher, but probably tougher just like on my grip after the dumbbells, after total bar. It's a grippy workout, total bar. Nothing high reps, right? Seven total bar, seven each arm with the dumbbell. When you go to the curtsy lunges, you're, you're holding with both hands for 14. So it was really, really great. Um, Daniel, did a, Daniel did a really good job programming that workout. It's kind of like a, it felt like an accessory workout like an accessory Metcon, you know, how he would do accessory work. You'll do like <clears throat> nothing necessarily for time. You'll do so many rounds and then you'll minimize your rest. So this is five rounds. Um, moving at a constant pace. And that was good for me. If I wanted to speed up, if I was trying to speed anything up, I'd speed my burpees up. But my total bar were as fast as they're really going to go. I could speed those up, but <clears throat> there was no, it would like, it'd make up like this small, like a very small amount of time. If I were competing, that's where I would do that, right? I'd want to find like little small air, like small areas where I could uh, catch up or make up some time, but just class workout. Not trying to be a hero. Just trying to fit in my pants. All right, I'm gonna go back inside, clean my stuff up. Hey, try this workout at home. Drop, drop it in the comments if you liked it. Daniel is a coach for Naked, and he has been writing our live program, which is going to be dropping soon, uh, which is gonna be very cool because if you're familiar with the Naked program, like the Naked training program, that program, it is, it's intense. It's high volume, it's a strength. I mean, it's primarily a strength building program, um, but, we have other options too. We have like Naked Light, kind of trying to find a good in between that is going to give you a really good solid program that is gonna get you to, you know, help you meet your goals, but also considering time available in a lot of people's lives. But now we're gonna have, in addition to all that, we're gonna have the live program, which will be super cool because it'll be live. It'll be, don't doesn't matter when you start, doesn't matter when you sign up for Naked, you can join the live program and we will all be doing the same workout on the same day versus jumping into like the naked training program. Um, you're gonna start out with a testing week. So you might have friends who have already been doing the naked program for like a month or a couple weeks and then you wanna sign up, you'll have to start at the very beginning so we can get you tested. So then we can sort of create your plan uh, with percentages and things like that for you to work towards your individual goals the live program is gonna be something that is going to offer you weight training, skill work, Metcons, conditioning, but it's gonna be more of a all around focus training program and not super strength specific. So, check it out. Keep an eye out. Goldie, I'm gonna go back inside. Oh, see you guys later. Beautiful. How would how'd it go? How'd they do? All right, they did great. So performance review would go to one out of five scale, five being superior, one being needs improvement strongly. Gina, solid five, okay? On her attitude. Uh, on her movements, I'll give her a five as well. Uh, on modifications, she's a six. 
okay? Best modifications, she gets the best of them. Uh, Brooke did phenomenal, right? Good toes to bar, nice beautiful hollow arc position. Uh, hang snatches were great. She pushed the weight up a little bit more than she wanted to, and she still did an awesome job with that. Uh, curtsy lunges looked phenomenal, you'll see in the vlog, right? Hopefully Colby got those angles that, uh, that uh, the people want. She looked great, but uh, overall it was good, man. You know, Gina was dealing with a little bit of a, a groin issue, so we modified out of it. She came bummed, right? So she went from that five to like a three. But once we had a little conversation one-on-one, -on -one, we talked about modifications and using the coach to make sure the workout is appropriate for you and still getting that dose of fitness, we went back to that, that five, five marker. How was that? Perfect. Cool, man. Crushed All right, it. guys. Awesome. Gina, how did it feel today? I have to do a personal review. Yes. Not a personal review. Of Daniel's coaching. Sure. Daniel's a great coach. No, stay right there. I'm gonna get my there is something wrong with me every week and I want to quit every week, but he always finds something else for me to do. And I appreciate him for that. Okay. <laughs> Done. Okay. We're getting married. We're getting married. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we really are. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely We're going not. into David's bridal because I have to try on a bridesmaid's dress. I am, me and Gina are going to a wedding in October. Um, I've been asked to be a bridesmaid um, from a, a fan of mine. And she's a big fan of the podcast and she had sent in an email. Her name's Kat, sent an email. Um, kind of giving us a story and she's getting married and she asked if I would come and bring Gina as my date and be a bridesmaid and Gina was telling like reading it to me and I was said yeah let's go so we're doing it good gonna try this dress on hopefully you know <laughs> hopefully hopefully it's my color <laughs> the dress. I feel like that woman was like, honey, you're definitely not a two. Which Brooke usually is a two. She thinks she's a four. She's way smaller than she thinks. Come on. <laughs> Dude, I'm so broad through my back. I know. Take Here, it in. Take this whole thing in. Yeah. We need a bigger size. <laughs> <laughs> Started at a four, so we'll get this went to a size. six, now we're going to an eight. It's a, it's a pretend boob that you put in your bra. It's <laughs> called false advertising. Well, I tried it on. Girl's got a big back. No, I um, ordered it it's going to be here in July, end of July. I'm doing a fitting on August 1st to have alterations done, and then we're good to go. Now we just gotta get Gina's suit made. And I think if we're gonna make you a suit, I feel like I wanna make me a suit too. I feel like, I feel like there are some events we could go to where we could wear a suit. For sure. And like a, a cool chick suit. Yeah, Colby's like, why are you wearing a suit? Hey, maybe we should are be you trying like to talking dress genders, I don't know. Trying to dress like, like a bad now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A, a, a um, not a, have a not feminine a, suit. It's not a traditional suit. A feminine suit. A feminine suit. <laughs> yeah, but then people people could get bugged by that too. Like, well, what is feminine? I don't know what to you? say then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a to suit. call it. I don't a know. Suit. It's a suit. Pants Getting suit. a suit. But not like a. Big suit. No, a, uh, a tailored fitted, one. Fitted tailored suit. We're gonna get tailored suits. And I want mine to have velvet on it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with satin. Should I get the ruffles? Yeah. I actually do think it'd be fun for us to be um, uh, Dumb and Dumber at some point in like the blue and the orange suits. Yeah, I think it's fitting. All right, you guys want, you want to get a, you want to stop by the gas station and grab a Bev before we drive to San Francisco. Let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on. <laughs>
we are in San Francisco, it is a clusterfuck here. Constantly, not just because COVID, just it is, just is. Parking. It just is. Parking sucks. Um, we're going to grab a quick bite with our one of our life partners named Sam Allen. I'm pretty sure you guys have met him before, but it's probably been a while. Fun fact about Sam is one of many. This is Daniel's brother. No? <laughs> My guy, I'm about to cause a scene. Like Don't make me talking. cause a scene. <laughs> Someone help, help me. Ayuda, me boy, boy. All right, um, so my close, bestest, Sam Allen. Hi, everyone. We were talking about him before we pulled up. Pulled up as we drove up to the fucking curb. <laughs> Hopped out, got some food. When we all go, like when the four of us, the fourth isn't here, Daniel's in Santa Cruz still. Usually, Sam and Daniel, we like, they order for everybody. We love to share everything, we love to try everything. So he's gonna tell you what we ordered because yeah. he ordered for us. Perfect. Um, you might have seen the ceviche that Gina so kind of. of. <laughs> Gina so kind of. Very fond of. Uh, we got Lomo Sotaro, which is Peruvian bison. Beef, french fries, all sauteed together. We got a whole chicken, sweet potato fries. We're just taking care of the kale salad. <laughs> uh, we got some grilled veggies, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. Well, my babies came to San Francisco, and they took me out to lunch, um, and I miss them so much. And uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> like and watching. subscribe. Thanks for watching. We're going back to Santa Cruz, and Sam has to stay here. But sad. Sad. He'll come visit soon. Of course. See you Bye, guys. guys. Boom.